Предмет – грамматика, лекция номер один – себя. Преподаватель – кандидат филологических наук, старший преподаватель Узиня Смарал Саматовна. Глагол – verb. Это класс слов, который называет действие или состояние. The sun shines bright. Солнце светит ярко. Светит – это действие. The sun is a star. This is a fact which is very often overlooked. Солнце – звезда. Это факт, который часто упускается из виду. Говоря, что глагол называет действие, мы говорим не о лексическом значении, а о грамматическом. Так, слово execution – выполнение. В своем лексическом значении называет действие, при этом является существительным и не выражает грамматического действия. The execution goes as expected. Выполнение идет как ожидалось. Слово goes выражает грамматическое действие. What is a verb? A word that shows an action, state or an event. It is an essential part of a sentence and it is also known as a soul of English language. For example, they study English grammar, action. We sleep at night, state. We celebrate eight events. Kinds of verb. Regular verb, irregular verb, linking verb, transitive verb, intransitive verb. Final verb in fine verb. Regular verb. A verb is that is past second form and past participle third form is made by adding d or ed. This is called as a regular verb. For example, walk, walk, walked, talk, talk, talked. Irregular verbs. It is the formation of the verb is. Otherwise, then the regular verb it is called irregular verb, or those verbs in which there is not the addition of d or ed. For example, shot, 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 drink, drunk, drunk, brick, broke, broke. Linking verb, a verb that links or joins the subject with another word in the sentence, is called as linking verb. For example, Ali was the winner of the race, was links winner and the subject. Winner's name is transitive verb. A verb that needs object to complete itself is called transitive verb. For example, Melinda sang a solo. Solo is the object. Intransitive verb. A verb that doesn't need any object to complete itself called as uh, intransitive verb. For example, Melinda sang softly, there is no object. Softly is an adverb. Fine adverb. The verb that can make its own predicate is called fine adverb. For example, they open the door. Here, open the door has very clear meaning, without subject. Um, details about the subject in the sentence is called a predicate. Find verbs. Such verbs that can't make its uh, predicate itself called its infined verb. For example, he has done the, the duty. Here, has done the duty has no clear meaning. So, done is an infined infinitive verb. An infinitive is a verb form that usually begins with to. It is used as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. For example, noun, adjective. This is this year. India is the team to beat. To beat modifies. A participle is a verb form that is used as an adjective when weather uh, for forecasters talk about tides or howling winds, they are using participles. For example, the blazing sun melted the frozen gerunds. A gerund is a verb form that is used as a noun and it ends with ing. For example, Talking is a not allowed is in the study hall. Talking is used as a noun, the subject of mood. English verbs have four moods, indicative, imperative, subjective, and infinitive. 
Mood is a form of the verb that shows the mood or manner in which thought is expressed. Verbs moods is a classification that indicates the attitude of the speaker. Auxiliary. Auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. They are used with full verbs give other information, action, on and stages. For example, is, am, are, was, where. Thank you for your attention. Спасибо за внимание.